in order to understand conflict, we must first understand what makes us all different. And the reason why that's the first thing to understand is that all conflict really is, or comes from, is differences in perspective. If there were no differences in perspective, if everyone just agreed on everything, there would be no conflict. When you agree with your partner, there's no conflict. When you two are believing the same things and wanting the same things, there's no conflict. That said, when one of you starts to want something different or believe something different or, or feel badly about something that the other one doesn't, when there's that difference in, in perspective and feeling, then conflict can arise. It, it doesn't need to arise. And hopefully today we'll give you some ways in which to, when that happens, when conflict occurs, when differences occur, in which you can navigate those times so that it doesn't lead to fights or arguments or negative emotion or judgment. Because it need not. We're not going to be able to become one and all the same and eliminate all of our different perspectives and just agree on everything. That's unlikely to happen, not overnight. And so instead, what we can do is we can learn to manage those times when we do experience different desires, beliefs, expectations, and perspectives in our partner. And now, sometimes when this happens, it's more emotionally charged than others. Some people might believe really strongly in something, and if we believe something differently, they might really not like it. And that can happen in our romantic relationships. And also another thing that can happen is that um, someone might want something a lot, and if they want it a lot and we don't want it, that can trigger fear in our partner. Uh, another thing that can happen is um, we can do something that for us is no big deal. That said, for our partner, it's a, a huge deal, and uh, they can't seem to get over it. And, and so that difference in perspective uh, can lead to uh, a lot of unnecessary um, negative emotion, judgment, conflict, that can be avoided. And the way to avoid it is first to understand the nature of the differences. Why do they have these different desires, these different expectations, and these different beliefs? And to understand that, all we need to ask ourselves is, well, where do those beliefs and expectations and desires, where do they come from, you know, from people? And ultimately, you know, they come from society, so two people from different cultures and, or nations might have different beliefs and expectations and desires. They come from family. Two people from different family might believe in two different ways of operating in relationships and might have different um, ingrained ways of handling, for example, conflict and, and other situations, money, work, uh, household chores. And, and all of these differences can lead to conflict. Ultimately, all of our differences only come from our past experiences and the unique nature of our past experiences. Now, truly, they don't actually come from our past experiences. They come more accurately, more specifically, more precisely speaking, and this precision makes a difference. They come from our stored, recorded interpretations of our past experiences. And there's a big difference there, because if we assume that our memories or our stored interpretations of our past experiences are the same as what actually happened, then we're believing that we can see reality. And if we believe that we can see reality and uh, other people have different versions of reality, then we're going to fight about which version of reality is real. And we're going to get stuck in that argument, and there's no way out of that argument. Not at least no ways that involve acknowledging everyone's individuality and appreciating everyone's emotional process and forgiving everyone's emotional process, and uh, moving on towards understanding, mutual understanding, and peaceful resolution. 
In order to achieve that, we must recognize that if 20,000 people go to a football game, there's going to be 20,000 different interpretations of that game. Whose reality there is right? So when we realize that, that everyone creates and stores in their system and in their memories their unique interpretations of what they perceived and that they refer to that as reality. Well, now we're getting somewhere because now we're getting self-awareness that, hey, we all have this process inside of ourselves where we accidentally, unconsciously refer to our interpretations as if they're real and true. And when we do that in our relationships, we actually create conflict because we're saying that what we believe is true and what they believe or experience is not. And certainly that's going to alienate anyone we're in relationships with. And two people do this to each other all the time. And that's okay. This can be transcended. This can be worked through. So how does one work through this? Well, first, they realize that that's going on. Second, they realize Oh, the vastness, the, the, the significance, the degree of, of implications and ripple effects this tendency has in our lives. And, and when we do fully realize the significance of it, we, then we gain the motivation and fuel to make foundational shifts. So how can you make those shifts? Well, in this video, we'll offer you uh, one approach, one intention that you can add to your list of intentions. One thing to be conscious of that you can do the next time that you see yourself going into conflict. And that intention is to start to be able to loosen your grip on the, the beliefs, the, the interpretations, the expectations that you have of your partner that are creating conflict and that are creating internal conflict and negative emotions in you and external conflict in your relationships. And once you start to loosen that grip over those beliefs, you'll find that you'll be able to see new things, learn new things, operate, interoperate with your partner in, in new ways, and thus get different results. And at first, it's really not easy. It's not easy. Sometimes it's not easy because we feel very emotionally charged and we feel very emotionally strong about our perspective. That said, what you'll find is that if any perspective is creating conflict or negative emotion uh, or pain in you, then it's likely not a conscious, God-aligned, harmonious perspective. It's not one that includes understanding, um, sage understanding and compassion, which means that if you let go of that perspective or belief or expectation, that you then open yourself up to the opportunity to find the sage understanding and perspective that is available to you and that's available to all of us. There's this uh, saying that goes, uh, it's not a saying, it's a, a quote or something that a man named Khalil Gibran, a poet from a long, many hundred years ago said, he said that the pain you feel is the breaking of the shell that encloses your understanding. I mean, truly, the pain we feel is like a signal or like information that tells us that hey we have a perspective here that isn't harmonious with God resonance with reality with unconditional love uh, and with harmony and so that carrying that perspective will bring us sort of some some pain some information in our lives some conflict so that we can identify that perspective uh, heal the misunderstanding gain new consciousness gain new understanding and release it so be willing to, if you want to, if you want to apply this approach, if you want to experience less conflict in this way, to question your perspectives that cause you pain, to question the perspectives that you have of, uh, of the, your partner that cause conflict and pain in you, and to open yourself up to a new perspective that is more wise, more understanding, even if it feels like you're ripping yourself in two sometimes to let go of that Thing that you feel they've been doing for so long and, and, and how wrong it is or how bad it is um, because I 
I bet that there's another perspective available to you that you may not have seen yet that is more conscious, more understanding, and uh, more rewarding for you. Uh, that will lead to more inner peace and less conflict in your life. And that, in turn, when you do this, you'll find that your stubborn partner will see this behavior, uh, if not consciously, then subconsciously. And over time, the more you do it, they'll start to, to mirror the, these positive intentions that you bring to the relationship. They'll start to mirror those back. Uh, I have many videos on this topic. Please uh, check out the, our channel and our, our playlists. Uh, conscious relationship and other playlists uh, please contact me if you have any questions please leave comments um, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel uh, and um, the the source for a lot of this information comes from a spiritual teacher named John Jones and uh, his books World Without Fear and Enter the Air of Empowerment uh, I also have a book called Navigating Life from the Mountaintop you'd like to check that out. Thank you very much. We hope you enjoy this. We hope you find this helpful and uh, we hope you have a great day.